guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Now, we know what this is. If you've been a subscriber, a sister, a friend, whatever you call yourself, a gem for a long time, you know this is okay. So, this is my Dunkin' Donuts cup for those who don't know. Dunkin' Donuts clear tumbler. Um, inside though is Starbucks coffee. Um, not really coffee. It's more of like their white chocolate cat. I think it's like a cappuccino or frappuccino or something like that, but it's white chocolate. Okay. Um, and then inside of that, I put some sugar, of course. And then I also have my international delight sweet cream creamer from Cold Stone. That's how we do. It is perfection. My favorite iced coffee to make at home, but book call slash pill in a hall because I still have a few stragglers that were not included in that May to July book haul. Um, I said that I just, I recorded that video, I believe, on July 18th, and it wasn't the end of the month, so I still had like two weeks or so of books coming. And um, I have them, so I'm going to share those books with you guys. And then we're going to get into some planner stuff, because of course I got some planner stuff, and I was gifted some planner stuff from a Instagram follower, which I'm super, super excited about. So, on to this haul, I have two nonfiction and four fiction books making sure I got that right so um starting off this first one is from B&H books I did receive through their blogger program um and this is the money challenge for teens by Art Rainer it's prepare for college run from death and live generously I'm trying to build my collection of books for teens children as well as like middle grade type of reads as well because I do now teach at my church with the teens outside of the adults I do teach the adults and the teens now and I also just help with the children's ministry um, I'm also starting the teen ministry DOG, which is Daughter of Grace, which is the baby of DOI. Um, that's going to be launching on August 15th. And I figured this would be a great one to also have for my sister to read for herself. So, yeah, I got it. And I hope I can get some stuff out of it. Hopefully, it does have some scripture based knowledge in here because I do want to know, um, not know, but you guys know how I feel about my nonfiction. If it's a nonfiction and it's Christian related, I need it to have scripture. So hopefully he does incorporate scripture in here somehow, some way. But um, it sounds like it's going to be great. There's money challenges in here. Um, he teaches you how to start saving and doing the math and all the great stuff. So uh, yeah, we have this book. Next, this book. Um, intrigued me just because of the title um and then when i read the back of the book i was even more intrigued so this is by pastor glenn barito it's why am i not healed when god promised it's forwarded by john bevere beveray i think it's bevere he's the husband of lisa bevere but i always say beveray don't know why somebody let me know if it's bevere or beveray i don't know but this sounds interesting i'm gonna read the back to you guys so it says how do you get your miracle Pastor Glenn Barito approaches life-altering events with, with first-hand insight. In the parking lot outside his church soon after writing this book, he suffered cardiac arrest and died, following the lack of oxygen and trauma to his body from the repeated electric shots that revived him his chance of survival was extremely slim for five days his family and friends refused the devastating prognosis and prayed the way he had taught them to pray now walking out his miracle pastor glenn wants to help other believers understand the power we have in the spirit realm to command mountains to move do you struggle to know if it's god's will to heal let pastor glenn share this gripping story with you as he counters 17 hindrances to praying for healing and here's the back so i guess this is him when he was in the hospital when he's out and then him now i'm assuming so it just sounds really good hopefully i enjoy it um so yeah okay so then i have one um sort of like children's book which i honestly requested because the cover was thinking cute to me and um i thought it was like really cute it's called gracie's garden it's by laura cassie illustrations by john davis and she's cute okay this cover is everything can you first of all i'm feeling her she got her hand on her hip she's like yeah it's got me a little garden <laughs> i love her hair um i just i love everything about this cover now again i love children's books because oh that's so amazing wow I just I'm just not opening the book to see the entire cover but even the actual cover is the same thing without the foiling you know hopefully you guys can see that but um interesting enough these are real life children <laughs> these are actually real life siblings I'm assuming yes wow so here they are 
the actual children that the story is based off of the little boy the little girl that is so cool but it says come play in the garden with gracie sip garden tea with her sister sarah taste tomatoes right off the vine with their crunchy munchy brother joshua and plant seeds some seeds though don't grow fast enough for joshua he wants to munch on tomatoes now what will he do while he waits on these tiny tomato seeds to grow step into the garden to find out um i think it's just a cute book i don't really know if there is specific scripture in here honestly i didn't check i honestly just requested it because i think the artwork is so cute but um we'll see most of bh books they follow a scripture so we shall see down the line but this just looked like a really fun read and i wanted it for myself for my collection um you know prayerfully god allows me to have a baby girl <laughs> in the future so yeah i got this and if not i can always use this at church with all the other little girls so yeah this is so cute we have this okay and then i have two romances well i think these are all romances technically a romantic suspense a contemporary romance and this is also a contemporary romance yeah so this i have another one of these love inspired inspirational romances from um harlequin that's what it is harlequin this one is ready to trust by tina radcliffe it's proving he's a changed man it says proving he's a changed man could be his biggest challenge i really can't see because it says author um autographed by the author here so this one is autographed and it is signed specifically to me because i am a part of a uh instagram tour for this book so it says to shanae stay cool happy reading by tina radcliffe it is signed this came with some peppermint and a fan my, my son broke my fan um so yeah so we can't do anything about that but the scripture for this book is going to be lamentations 3 22 and 23 which is why i like the love inspired books um a lot of the times they're definitely country and when i say country i mean like western style not western that is not the right way to say this hopefully i'm not offending anybody by saying that but what i mean is that they're more so like cowboy texas style books that's what i meant to say um so yeah i mean he he's a little cutie pie a little cutie pie on the cover i like the oranges is that oranges in the back i'm gonna assume those oranges are peaches i don't know but um it says the woman he once loved is back with the daughter he never knew he had oh jesus so this is a second chance romance i enjoy second chance romances um so yeah i'm not gonna read any more than that that just spiked my interest and they're so cute and tiny they're not that long to read they're like 220 pages so we have that following i also have love and a little white lie by tammy l gray i am a part of the block tour release tour whatever you want to call this tour the launch team that's what it is i'm a part of the launch team for this book um and it's from bethany house and it's a romance contemporary romance i love this cover i think it's cute um i will read what it says on the back it says there's a lot of irony and hitting rock bottom after a heartbreak leaves her reeling january sanders is open to anything including moving into a cabin on her aunt's wedding venue property and accepting a temporary position at her aunt's church despite being a lifelong skeptic of faith choosing to keep her doubts to herself she's determined to give her all to supporting grace communities overworked staff while helping herself move on what she doesn't count on is meeting the church's handsome and charming guitarist it's a match set for disaster yet january has no ability to stay away when it means pretending to have faith in a god she doesn't believe in okay i'm not even gonna continue because there's like two more bad guys but that just sounds interesting so it's one of those tropes where the female says that she believes in a god that she doesn't really believe in or know just to get the attention of a handsome guy so that sounds interesting i'm hoping it's going to be amazing i hope there's going to be a lot of faith talk and a lot of scriptures included in this so i haven't read it yet i need to hurry up and read this so i should be putting this on my august cbr we'll see we'll see how that goes okay and then the last book i have is going to be a sequel which i'm pretty excited to read because i did enjoy the first book the first book was collateral damage and now i have accept acceptable risk for the rebel block tour um and this one follows sarah denning she was a military psychologist with the army in the middle east and she was then taken hostage because her crazy self went and did something in book one which i can't really tell you guys about but she helped or she went undercover at an orphanage to figure out what was going on um with the children she found out what was going on she was then taken as a hostage and, and it's a whole it's, it's a whole drama a whole drama so i'm excited to pick up with her story and see if i like it more than the first book because i did enjoy the first book um my only gripe is that 
this it, it, it drags so hopefully this one doesn't drag as much as the first book did because as much as i wanted to give collateral damage at four stars i think i gave it a 3.5 3.75 because it dragged i mm, i don't want books I, pacing is everything for me i like action i like character development but if your pacing is off i cannot give you like a full mm, so hopefully i enjoy this i think the cover is cute on this one though so this is cute so we have that okay so now let's get into the planner stuff so i was actually gifted some stuff from sonia over from instagram because she she and i have been like chatting um and she had sent me a picture of like her desk with her notepads and i was like oh my god her notepads are cute and i told her and you know she had her husband go and buy me some stuff so yay um so she first sent it in this pencil case which i think is adorable pencil case is cute um i am missing two of the sticky notes because i already actually own them and i gave them to my mom because you know my mom love sticky my mom is like me with sticky notes and you guys think i'm crazy i'm gonna show you one day my collection of sticky notes yeah i have a, I have a large collection and we're not gonna talk about that we're not gonna talk about it but um she sent me a, pa a three pack that had a mermaid something else and it had this cute little unicorn and i just could not pass up this unicorn because i have unicorn ones but they're not pink and they're not cute this is so cute if they made this in like a pack itself i would so like buy two packs this is so cute so i have these unicorn ones then she sent me the are these llamas or alpacas i don't i don't know llamas alpacas they're one or the other i think these are llamas I, i'm a i feel like they're llamas but they might not be llamas so but they're cute and they're pink with a purple flower like come on now with the blue around i i love i love right she sent me these pens as well so they're like color changing pens i haven't actually used them yet but i think they're just so cute so i have those then she sent me some more <laughs> stuff so actually let me just try to stick this back in here so i'm not making a mess but um she sent me these llama stickers which i think is so cute I am like loving these llama stickers then she sent me two sets of the organizer sticky notes um so she sent me this one which is like the coffee donut ones which I'm sold like that donut super cute we love a good coffee cup and I love that this one has like a thumb tack in it this one says notes this is just pink ombre that's a regular looking donut and this one also has a thumb tack and then she sent me the other llama one, um, which has pineapples. I think that's succulents, some type of flower, speech bubble, and two llamas. But it's like gold foiling on them. So, so cute. Hopefully, I don't have them in my stash already, but I probably do. And it's okay because we like to be out. Okay, so then moving on. I, of course, Walmart is always having phenomenal planners. Like, phenomenal. And I needed a new planner for church because um, I did have the Recollections mini planner. That ain't working out. It, it's just not working out right now for the season that we're in. Luckily, the Recollections one is not um, dated. Actually, let me see if I can go grab that planner real quick. Okay, I'm back. So here is the Recollections. Oh, actually, I've only had two months left in this planner. Anyway, so this was the planner I was using. It says Let's Be Mermaids. Um, and I originally got this because I was just the, uh, I was in charge of my senior pastor's, um, calendar, basically making sure all of her dates and things were great. So I was using it for that and then for church events. And then I ended up started handling my bishop's calendar. And then I ended up handling another pastor's calendar. So I technically am handling like four calendars for my church, the church calendar, my senior pastors, my bishops, as well as the other pastor, which is like, I call him a bro. Um, so I have four calendars to basically handle. Um, and you know, I was keeping all that in here, but I really wasn't utilizing like, here's how the months were looking, but I wasn't honestly utilizing the weeks correctly. Cause like, you know, I didn't care. I was, you know, sticking, it, it wasn't going the way I wanted it to go pretty much, right? So I said, you know what, it's time for a new planner because now that everything is social media wise, now that we are on um, the internet with this whole COVID pandemic stuff going on, um, it's a little crazy. And then in the process of this, some things have like happened with my ministry, which are great things that are going on. Um, and on top of me being a part of the administration team and then the social media team being the head of social media. Um, I'm also on the dance ministry. I'm also a part of the praise and worship team. I'm also now teaching for Sunday school and also for, um, <laughs> the youth ministry with the, the teens. You guys can hear us a lot. 
Um, now, by no means will I ever feel like, I'm, let me, how can I say this? I'm very grateful because if this was me three years ago, I would not be a part of anything in my church. Um, I was definitely one of those people that I wanted to dance and then go home. I wanted to hear a word, go home. And even then, I never could really sit in the church because I was bogged down with so much stuff. Um, you know, and you know, when you say yes, God be like, all right, you just say yes. And he don't tell you how your time is going to go. And I feel like everything is happening so quickly. Um, my mom always says this because I knew that I was supposed to say yes years ago and I kept running. And now that I said yes, God is like, all right, now that you say yes, you going to work. And he, he got me working. So I'm very grateful for it though. I'm very grateful. I love my church. I love the support that they give me and um, I enjoy what I do, especially since I don't work. Now I work obviously but when i say work i mean i don't like get a paycheck from anything you know i do youtube which i enjoy youtube is work but i'm not getting paid from youtube um correction i get like money from youtube but i literally don't see that money until like every five or six months depending so yeah um that's not a lot and then you know my my leaders will bless me every now and then but um it's not like having an actual nine to five with a paycheck hopefully that makes sense i hope that makes sense but yeah i got two planners and some planner accessories so um we'll start off with the washi tape first because we like washi tape so i got four of the mini washi tapes um this one i technically already opened because i did use but here is the first one and this one is just blacks grays gold and white i don't know what this one says it says oh it says love yourself this one says love yourself um, I love the honeycombs. I love the diagonals, but yeah, and these are normally like two bucks. These ones are two bucks So we have that one This one is more fun And bold which are reds. Um, this one says oh happy day in the reds Oh happy day I'm trying to get it to focus Then we have this now they look like the same to me, but one is more green, one is more blue, whatever. So we're going to show you this one first. This one says, make today amazing. The green says, make today amazing. And it's more like a peachy coral color than anything, but that's that one. And then this one says, find your happy at the bottom. But these are the colors. So those were the ones that I found. I'm pretty sure there are more colors out there. I just haven't found them at my Walmart. And then I got their tape dispensers because I really, really love their tape dispensers. They're so amazing. So, um, are they the same? Yeah, they're all five yards each. Um, all of the washi tapes are five yards each. But this one is another, like, black, gray, and white with gold. And compared to this, it is different. Um, I will say the white is the same. They switched the black honeycomb for the gray honeycomb and then made the white diagonal. The black one and this gray one are different though from this pack, if you can see what I'm saying. But we like that. Um, then I have this one, which I don't, I just fell in love with it. It's cute. I really just love this blue and this coral like color. And then I got this one here, which was a little more fun. And I think these are more like four bucks. So this is like three dollars and some change, and these are like a dollar and some change. Um, the only difference is that this come on a t this comes on a tape dispenser, um, and this doesn't. They're literally both five yards. They're literally the same amount of. Um, yeah. They're the same amount, so I'm just looking. All right, so we have washi tape. I like washi tape. I use washi tape literally on everything when I'm sending out um, packages, when I'm sending, when I'm writing in my journal, when I'm in my Bible, when I am doing anything, planning, everything. Washi tape is essential. Okay, so onto the planner. So I did get two new planners because why not? <laughs> the first one is this one. It's a weekly monthly planner. It's from July 2020 to June 2021, 12 months. And um, yeah, they had a variety of different ones. They had this one and a black floral, I think it was, but I fell in love with this one because I like lavenders, pinks. Those are my things. So I'm actually gonna take this off because I was waiting to do this haul to take it off. But it says, this is your day. And this one is actually a binder style, which is very different than what I'm used to. It's binder. Not different from what I'm used to, because I used to do binders all the time. But 
you know when you're used to, when you switch to coils and um travelers you forget what binders are like so i'm actually gonna leave that part in but um it says the plans and dreams of so you put your name um it says 2021 at the bottom but what i liked let me take this out because this is annoying me okay so what i liked is um the dashboards for the month are interesting so this is what your monthly dashboard is we're literally at the end of july so i really cannot use this um but i am going to go back and plug stuff in from like the meetings we had and things like that so for your dashboard you have your plan on it your dream on it um your to-do list your notes and then your small mini calendar you flip it over then you get your actual large calendar with space to write notes and space at the bottom and then what i liked was the weekly setup was a checklist so it's literally like a checklist of things which i need to work on because literally i'm doing something every day for church literally whether it's sending an email working on a document um doing the social media having a praise and worship meeting having a dance ministry meeting sending emails to the pastors and i'm doing something every day so that's why i was drawn to this so here is the august one so i'm gonna have to work on this one for august um i don't know if i will decorate in this just because i don't i don't want this to be something i have to like focus hard on i just want to be able to write in this and and throw it in my purse and get to where i need to go pretty much so i'm not going to decorate in this um at all but yeah i thought that was really nice so i did get a new planner for church purposes for everything this is all the church calendars all the meetings we have every new endeavor that we're doing if i have to make a phone call for my leaders if i have to do a pet everything is going in here okay and then of course i could not I, I just could not not get a new traveler's notebook so we know i had a problem before i will leave the link you can see the video where i bought a ton of these traveler's notebooks from um walmart and staples i like these i wasn't sure if i would like traveler's notebooks but i do um i honestly haven't been using mine because we've been home so there's been no point i think the last month i used was yeah june was the last month um that i used this and i have literally been enjoying using the monthly spreads they do have other notebooks that are weekly daily um workout note section and all that this one is the weekly spread so i was actually like going hardcore decorate my weekly spread sometimes i would fall off using it but um as a planner girl this was my thing um this last time i used it like i said was in june i haven't used it at all in july because i just didn't care honestly um so yeah i like these planners and i was like you know what i'm pretty sure they have new ones out they do um i could not find the one in this size unfortunately pay this no mind this is actually broken i'm gonna try to fix it with some hot glue but um i could not find the new traveler's notebook in this size i have seen the covers which i think is really pretty but i don't think i even care to get it but i did get the new inserts um the inserts literally are all the same inserts but they have new covers for the inserts as a planner person i like it i probably shouldn't have because i have like a box with extra inserts but i am thinking about doing a giveaway on one of the planners because i don't think i need all of these planners so stay tuned for that um but this one is these are the uh two sets that they had for the inserts so they both come with two inserts each with 140 pages so this one is your monthly it says monthly you guys can see um and it's nothing like really special about the cover i don't really care for it it looks like a butterfly um oh this is different yes okay so this is not what i was thinking it was going to be this is definitely different when it said monthly i thought it was going to be like this because your months look like this and they're all undated which i love because you can use them for forever and ever and ever but um this is what i thought the monthly was no no this is different i'm excited one thing i wish they would do is be more um descriptive about the type of insert you're getting because they really are not truly descriptive like i said it says monthly pages i'm thinking oh monthly pages no this is actually a different type of monthly page um so it is like a monthly calendar let me just get to the middle of the page here we go so you get your your blank month here and like a focus type of thing but then over here you get your habit tracker your bills you have to do your to-do list and then some notes that is awesome um and for me i need to start tracking that because everything now is virtual i am home and um i am 
making money here and there through like sales and stuff and then i have dues that are have to be done i have like offerings that i need to give into church like i need to start tracking that stuff which i don't so yeah um that would be great and habit tracker yeah i know i've been slacking on my bible studies i have been slacking on doing my journaling and i want to get back into making that a habit because it completely fell off as a habit for me so i'm going to be utilizing this probably not for august because august is a lot of stuff but maybe in september because we know september kids will be home um so we have that one and this one says notes to self which is literally just uh you guys can see graph paper so we have that um and then we have this one here it says daily plan daily pages and rule pages so let's see what that's about so this is the graph the line sorry line paper just looks like that it says etc i like the pink um and then this one says daily plan how does this one look how does this one look yeah see these are definitely different inserts they're definitely different from the other ones that I had. So this literally just says, um, today's plan, morning, afternoon, evening, important, uh, hope to do, and note. So this is definitely different. When it said daily, I thought it was like daily pages. So I guess I scored and getting new inserts, I guess. So we have those. And then I did get the new uh, Traveler's Notebook in the smaller size which is so cute and it's floral and that's why i got it i probably don't need any more because i have pink ones i have gray ones i have purple ones who cares who cares right so um yeah it just says includes a traveler notebook set with two page inserts and it's simulated leather this one has weekly pages and dotted pages automatically in it and then i did get two of the insert sets so we're going to oh these inserts are pretty it's gonna be hard figuring out which ones to give away i'm not giving this one away though because i like the floral with the gold band it's so cute um but it does come with two inserts one two so this one is notes um it's literally just dotted line dotted pages if you guys can see and then i love the foiling on here so pretty this one is supposed to be weekly yeah so this goes back to that weekly setup which looks like this so that that works i like that setup um then you have this set here this is the monthly and dotted pages so here's the dotted pages i think yeah i like this like color it's so pretty um but it's literally just dotted pages and then the monthly one here uh this is definitely different from the other monthly i think i like this one better um, so I'm going to compare it to the other one because I think I like this one a little bit better. So normally at the top, you would have these little bubbles that you can fill in for the month. And then you would have the note section on the side. This one, however, has a little different of a setup. Um, you actually have to circle the month, the note section here, and then it has, uh, coming up and then goals. I kind of like that. I kind of like that setup. Um, and then this one is the daily pages and got it again. So the dotted one says this lovely life. And it's dotted. I might give this one away in a giveaway. I'm not really attached to the cover of this, honestly. It's not my cup of tea. This one is white with the foiling. yeah this is definitely different from the other daily ones so um this one just says today it has the day of the weeks is it gonna focus can you focus please why are you not focusing i don't know what's going on guys hold on there we go focus um so it says the day of the week sunday monday friday tuesday wednesday thursday saturday it's blank for you to put the actual date um today main focus today you put here you have a checklist here a little blank box which you can put like stickers a quote or whatever you want to do and then best part of the day at the bottom so it's not like a full-blown um 
daily but i think it's fun and cute so i'm definitely excited to go through my stash and figure some stuff out because i think i'm gonna give away two of my planners um one in this size because i don't need it <laughs> and then one in this size because i have way too many of you guys think i'm joking let me go grab them okay i'm back i went and grabbed all the planners so can you guys see this this is gonna be hard to do this way is it this way i don't know how to do this okay there's a pink box can you see the pink box wait <laughs> okay right here this pink box here can you see it that pink box has a bunch of blank inserts for these planners yeah uh we're not gonna talk about it we're not gonna talk about it it's okay it's all right um but i think i'm joking right for this size i have four of these now i have my two walmart ones which are the walmart pinning gears my lavender one i'm not giving up like it's lavender the one i just got which is super cute keeping that one right right then i have my two staples ones um this one i definitely might give away as much as i love this one i might just give it away because i have a new one so this one is pink and then this one is gray i might give these two up um i'm, I'm debating on this gray one because i really like the gray um but definitely this pink one i will do a giveaway on with actual inserts in it um soon don't know when but probably around christmas time um so that it can be for the new year so this one i definitely will be taking out of my collection and put this to the side right so now that just leaves me with these three which i'm okay with because they all have inserts they all served a purpose i just haven't been using them because i haven't been caring honestly right and then also oh i have the same amount i have these four larger ones so this one i don't think i will part with i don't know this one I do like a lot. Um, I might part with, I might keep, I don't know. This gold one I'm going to part with. Um, as much as I like the gold, it's tangled up. Oh, Lord. It's tangled. We have a tangled hot mess. Give me a second, guys. I have to figure this out. Literally, it's tangled in here. Okay. What? Okay, that's untangled. And this one is finally untangled. Okay. So, this is the one I've been using, but I might give this one up. I don't know. Like, I like the inside. It's, like, light pink. I don't know. But I know for a fact the gold one I don't really care for too much anymore. I got it because it was cute at the time. And I thought, you know, this would be cute, but I don't care. I do have inserts in it already. Um, these are the daily pages are definitely different because it has hourly setup going in it. And then I also have um the weekly to do list in here so yeah i'm gonna take act my actual inserts out and put new blank inserts that i have extras of in them so that's how that's gonna go but this gold one will be going away um to someone i don't want to keep it anymore but then that still leaves me with um this like teal one which i think this one i used oh i did have a planner in here i'm an idiot you guys i'm such an idiot such an idiot this was my social media planner so um i'm actually gonna keep this for social media this pink one i don't know if i'm gonna keep it or not because i like it but i don't need that many and this one i have the gratitude journal in so um i might be giving away three or four depending because this might be going as well as this gray one as well i'm not sure yet but um this is a state these both are staples ones and then i have two that um, I'm gonna give away I might I don't know if I'm gonna do like one giveaway where I do like together and then the other two together or do four separate planner giveaways probably two here on YouTube and then two on Instagram I'm not sure but I just know I don't need them um, I really as much as the staples ones are nice I prefer the ones from Walmart because they are simulated leather and they're a lot thicker and I feel more comfortable with it though I do like this gray one this gray one has like four notebooks in it i don't even remember what oh the meal planning notebook i'm definitely gonna have to keep because you know expense one is in here the traveling one is in here and then i have a blank note um and the inserts in here are the actual inserts from staples um so yeah
But yeah, that was it for this little impromptu haul. Thank you guys for watching, reading, commenting, subscribing. If you have anything you want to discuss, anything you want to ask, if you want more in-depth look at these planners or any reviews on the books, let me know down below in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.